Well folks, it's a special old weekend because I'm out with me mate Dave again. There he is, Stop Dave you. Outdoors. And uh, it's his first time on Snowdon. So I'm taking him to my, uh, my favorite little secret spot. You'll forgive me if I don't tell you all exactly where it is, but uh, I think you'll enjoy it when we get there. The signs are there, you'll spot the ridges and the, the familiar sights on the, on the slopes of Snowdon and hopefully, you know, you can figure out exactly where we are and, uh, and make your way up here at some point. You won't be disappointed if you do manage it. But uh, yeah, get over on Dave's channel once you've watched this and, uh, and uh, see what he's all about. Cracking videos over there to watch. And uh, yeah, we'll see you a bit, a bit further up. So it's one of these old uh, slate quarries, folks. Snowdonia's dotted with them. Almost all completely abandoned now, but just occasionally you do get some lovely walls left over and a good idea of what used to go on here. I guess this would have been some kind of pump house with a water wheel maybe. But you can see where the water comes from. Oh wow, that goes right through. Oh, that'd be an interesting little explore with some proper waterproofs on. The mist has well and truly caught up with us. Feels like there's another rain cloud coming through. Here's another of these old uh, quarry buildings. Wonder how many hundreds of Miners, quarrymen, have walked through this doorway. The manpower it must have taken to bring those beams up here. Brilliant. Oh, hey, up, look who's here. Hey, who's that there? Hey. Hey. <laughs> hey. And now an urgent announcement from Dave Outdoors. Would you like a curry? No. Okay. <laughs> well, I don't know if you can even hear me. But uh, it's all gone a bit wrong. Uh, we've got to the camping location, which I'd love to show you, but I can't. I'll tell you why in a sec. You can probably hear why. Um, we found ourselves a spot that we like the look of. Uh, and the moment we started putting the tents up, the heavens opened, the wind hit us like a sledgehammer, and uh, we're both freezing cold trying to get some life back into our fingers now we've put the thermal layers on taken the wet layers off um it is it's absolutely chucking seven bells at us up here um but hey we're we're embracing it uh dave's uh yeah dave's just nursing some life back into his fingers and toes and he's got to jump out of the tent in a minute to go and get some water <laughs> he's he sat in his tent rocking back and forth in the fetal position <laughs> wondering how he's gonna make it through the night I've told him he's definitely not cuddling up to me um, 
the worst of it is I think I've got to get out of the tent to get some more water in a minute as well. This is absolutely hammering us. Hammering us. Um, I'd, I don't know what we're going to do. We'll figure something out. But unless there is thunder and lightning, we're sticking it out for the night. Uh, so it could be a could be a boring one we might be in the tents for the next 12 hours you never know uh yeah oh well i'll see you in a bit This, boys and girls, is how we collect water in a downpour. <laughs> well, boys and girls, Dave has just made his dash for the lake to get himself some water for a coffee and his food. I, on the other hand, have collected enough rainwater for a coffee and a pot noodle. Um, but I feel it's time to admit to a schoolboy error. This week, in the post, this arrived. This is the four season inner tent for my Lanshan 2. I, in my infinite wisdom, decided not to change my normal inner tent, this one here, for the four season inner tent. Because I decided when I got up here on Snowden with Dave, I'd do a little changeover video, you know, take the old one out, put the new one in and uh, show you all how it's done. You can see how well that's gone. I'm gonna be cold tonight, but so's Dave, so it's not too bad, I'm not that bothered. <laughs> well, ladies and gents, we are calling it a night. It is just gone eight o'clock. We've been in the tent for uh, about three hours now. The rain seems to have knocked it off. The wind has definitely calmed down a little bit. So we're just gonna, we're gonna stay in the tents, call it a night because trousers are wet, coats are wet, socks are wet, boots are wet. Um, and we're gonna, uh, we're gonna get some kip. But uh, it's, you know, it's been a great, it's been a good crack. Dave's always good company. And uh, so th I'm, like, big thanks to Dave for coming up here with me. It's been great fun. Um, and I'm sure it will be great fun in the morning as well. Um, if the weather is stunningly beautiful when we wake up, we are going to make an attempt for the summit, see if we can get up there. Um, although the South Ridge path is a bit treacherous when it's wet, but we might give it a go. If it's not, if it's still claggy and, and a bit, you know, drizzly and crap, then uh, we're going to sack that off and head straight back down to the car. Maybe stop off on the way down there, try and get some drone footage. Um, but uh you know we'll see how it goes um thanks for uh, thanks to everyone that subscribed since my last video um up to about 180 odd now so you know thanks and thanks a million guys I, you know i appreciate every single one of you it's uh it's fantastic to have you on board and uh, and i hope you stick around for for the ride there's a, there's a lot more coming um but other than that, just, you know, again, thank you for subscribing and for, for coming along on the journey with me. It's, uh, I'm loving it, making lots of new friends, getting to know lots of people online. And, you know, I appreciate every single one of you. So, and every single one of your comments as well. I love reading them and I reply to every one that I possibly can. So uh, please keep it up. Um, and if you, you know, if you haven't subscribed to me, but you're watching this, then please hit that subscribe button and, uh, and get involved. Um, me and Dave and any of the other guys that you see on my videos as well, you know, we're all, we try to be as much fun as we can and as entertaining as we can. But if there's something you'd like to see that you haven't seen in any of the videos, stick it in the comments, let us know. And, uh, you know, you could well find your idea showing up in one of our videos sometime soon. Um, but for now, boys and girls, I'm going to wish you all a good night. And uh, unless something uh, terrible happens to us during the night, um, then I will see you same time, well, not same time, but same place in the morning. Night, night, folks.
Well, folks, we're awake. Um, as you can see, we've got a slightly nicer start to the day than the end of the day was. Um, got a coffee on, breakfast pot noodle. Um, we're not going to try for the summit today. I think the weather's just a little bit too unpredictable. Snowden as ever is not to be trusted. And the forecast doesn't seem to have got anything right so far. So we're gonna try and shoot some nice footage, maybe get the drones up in a little break in the wind, although there are some gusts coming through. But whatever you see after this is what we managed to do on our way down the mountain. See you later, folks. packed up and ready to go um, we're not uh, it's turned into quite a lovely morning actually and um, if you look over that way but uh, the weather is coming from over Snowdon's summit at the moment which is that way and it's still looking a bit uh, a bit grim and a bit bleak in that direction so we're not gonna we're not going for the summit this morning we are going to turn around and head back um, there's a lovely abandoned uh, slate quarry which you will have seen in my uh, in my footage on the way up that we're going to stop at on the way down try and get some more uh, some more drone footage because uh, it's pretty it's pretty spectacular down there um, but uh, yeah as per standard procedure left no trace at all nothing to be seen well we've kicked a few sheep turds around but you know Turned out to be to be not not a bad night. I didn't get a particularly great night's sleep. What with the combination of wind and rain and Dave's version of Ina Klein and Act music, <laughs> um, but uh, apparently I snored as well. Although I didn't hear it. Who knows? Um, but yeah, we'll see you on the way down, folks.
we're well down the trail to the car now and uh, just passing through this slate quarry again you've probably just seen some drone footage of it it's quite an impressive place the one thing you won't see on the drone footage though is these blasting pits that are alongside the path they are spectacular drops But uh, I'm just going to spin you around because the vista we've just come out of the quarry to see is uh, pretty epic. There's the sun just coming up over the slag pile. Here's big Dave making his way down the trail. Look at that. That's the way to start a Sunday morning, boys and girls. Get yourself up a mountain. I've said it before and I'll say it again. It is good for the soul. Just like that folks, another one's over. It's been a fantastic camp. Big thanks to Dave Outdoors for joining me this time. It's his first time up Snowden. I trust he's enjoyed it. Definitely, it's been great. <laughs> um, yeah, we've had, a, we've had a cracker. We got battered by the wind and rain, but hey, you know, embrace it. It's part of what we do. It's part of being out here in this amazing landscape. So we're not certainly not gonna complain about it. I uh, hope you've enjoyed what you've seen, folks. If you have, please hit that like button. Give me a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Uh, consider subscribing. Share it with your friends. Um, and as I said last night, I appreciate every single one of you that hits that subscribe button. So don't be shy. I love having you guys around. And uh, don't be shy about telling me anything you think I could do to improve things either. I'm always grateful. Um, but yeah, get over to Dave's channel as well. Uh, he'll be uh, he'll be putting his version of this video out soon if he hasn't already he usually gets them out before me to be fair um and thanks for joining me on another wild camp this is richie for wild astro signing off thanks guys see you next time